Hey everyone, it's John and I'm out detecting. Uh, it's a warmer day here in Michigan. It's supposed to be right around 60, but I believe it's going to rain. It's really cloudy looking. Um, some of the colors are pretty, but uh, I'm detecting an area where I had some success before. And I, I got my E-Track naturally, but this is the first time in this area where I use my stealth coil. And I was getting signal, and it was borderline high, going back and forth low, and I dug it, and I might have myself a gold ring. You can see it right there. Still got a big clump of dirt in the center of it, but I'm going to get the dirt out of it here, and I'll uh, let you know what it is. Well, everyone, it does appear to be gold. I believe it's 14 karat, and it's got some sort of inscription can't read it all. I'll have to clean it up at home. Oops, dropped up. And, uh, oops, sorry. And get my magnifying glass out. But there is a date on the inside, and I'm hoping I can show that to you. I don't know if you can see that or not. Looks like it's 8247. So, really nice find. And I am very happy to have it. I'm going to keep digging. Get back with you. Well, I just got myself a 1245 signal and dug this hole, a couple roots in there. Kind of a, a two-tone signal. There's got to be a piece of metal in here somewhere, but I dug, dug the plug and um, I see a dime and it's really, really dark and I think, I'm thinking, well, it's just another clad dime. But as I look at the date, and you'll be able to see, you'll be able to see a little bit of shininess on the Roosevelt head, 1955. So I'm on the board with the silver. Silver and gold, pretty good. I'm going to keep digging. Just dug up a lipstick tube. This place is getting interesting this morning. A little bit of everything. Hey everyone, digging on this uh, this hillside, and uh, got like a 1244-1245 squeaker. Uh, dug through this root system, and then the deeper I got more and more with my inline probe it sounded like silver finally got to the bottom of the hole and lo and behold a 1903 by recorder and I cheated flipped it over it is a New Orleans O mint mark so I'm really happy to have that Welcome back to the car. I just got a nice uh, 1244, nice and high and shallow, about three inches deep. Not very deep, but I did pull up a Roosevelt dime. 1946. I'm going to work this area a little longer. Hey everyone, it's a rainy, rainy day here in Michigan. Uh, I don't know if you can see out there or not from my window, but pouring pretty good. Yesterday was nice and I had a good day. I'm just going to do a, uh, a wrap up. I had some good finds. had some really nice finds. Uh, first of all, these are some of the junk finds. I did have some uh, bunch of nails. Uh, there's other things that I didn't include in here. Uh, steel bottle caps. I've got the reel or the handle off a fishing reel, a uh, lipstick tube, a really old looking lipstick tube. Um, I did get a, a nice pile of clad. Didn't total it up, but I'm sure there's a, at least two or three dollars, maybe more there. I ended up with uh, 12 wheat pennies. 
I haven't cleaned them up so I haven't checked the dates no idea generally this area where I hunt they're mostly 40s and 50s but occasionally you'll get one from the teens and I was lucky enough I did uh, I did strike some silver and some gold sorry I'm jumping around so much trying to get you a good picture of this I picked up a 46 Roosevelt dime and beside it this was in a uh, really mucky area black dirt where there's a lot of uh, moisture I'm not going to clean it any more than that much right there the, the back side is entirely black but this is a 55 uh, I went to a, a hill an area where I've hunted a lot and using that small coil it seemed like I cut through all the junk easily and I got myself a 1903 barber quarter that side looks good it's a omit mark and I found quite a few silver rings but I've never found a gold ring and I was lucky enough uh, my light is fading fast to pick up this men's wedding band and it's 14 karat I know it's hard to see and it does have a, uh, a date it has initials and a date inscribed and the date was sorry 8247 I'm gonna try to get you a picture of that or at least show you on this video if I can get enough light that might do it there I'm not sure but it's 8247 so uh, it weighed 3 3.9 grams and uh, I'm real happy to have it I wish I had more light but it's a crap day so um, thanks for viewing everyone Dave and I plan on getting out this weekend and hopefully we'll have some more goodies Take care, and thanks for viewing.